Now, tonight, Americans continue to suffer under the surging costs of the Biden agenda. Of course, the radical climate alarmist religious cult agenda, new green dealism. Inflation continues to hover at a 40-year high. Prices in the grocery aisle continue to soar. And gas prices, yep, hit another new record high, one after another after another under Joe Biden. Of course, he artificially reduced the world supply and gave up energy independence. Now, one example, for example, all across California, we're now seeing the price of a gallon of gasoline higher than the federal minimum wage, which is 70, $7.25 an hour. But, of course, as the crisis build up and Biden's approval rating goes down to 32 percent, the White House, they just try to blame Putin, they blame COVID, they blame Fox, they blame Hannity, they blame Trump, and today they blame the Federal Reserve. And meanwhile, Biden's energy crisis is going from bad to worse as the International Energy Agency is warning fuel shortages this summer could be worse than the oil crisis of the 70s. For those of you that don't remember those days, I grew up waiting online, odd days, even days, for maybe $10 worth of gas, maybe five at the time. Now, it all comes as Americans are growing more and more pessimistic about the Biden economy. Look at the Gallup numbers. The Economic Confidence Index has now cratered to a whopping minus 45. That's the lowest since the tail end of the recession in 2009. Here with Reaction, Fox Business host Larry Kudlow. And that recession was pretty steep and deep and wide. I really have two questions. I don't see that they're doing a single thing to me that would help us recover. As a matter of fact, one of the best things they could do for inflation is return to energy independence. That would be an easy fix for, for inflation and the high cost of everything we buy in every store we go to, number one. Number two, you know the economy as well as anybody I know. For those Americans, two-thirds of which are now living paycheck to paycheck, what advice do you give them? What about their 401ks? What about their IRAs, their retirement money? What do you tell them to do at this point? Well, Sean, uh, thank you for having me on again. And let me tackle the first point. You know, Biden's article in the Wall Street Journal today that was the talk of the town had no new inflation plan, anti-inflation plan. It had nothing. I mean, what he's setting us up here is for his vision, this woke vision of a fossil free economy, which is going to do enormous damage to the economy. It'll put it in a permanent recession. It'll cause millions of job losses and rising unemployment. And, of course, as you can see, the gas prices and the diesel prices and the world oil price, I mean, that's gone back to $120. So inflation is going to rage. He had no plan today. He wants fossil free. He knows it's going to cause a recession, and I don't think they care. And I think all this talk in this uh, Wall Street Journal article about a transition I think he's saying it's a transition to fossil free and it's a transition to recession and they're trying to sugarcoat it and people are going to see right through it. So it's a terrible ploy. I mean, look, you want to end inflation? I got a plan, OK? This will call it the Kudlow Hannity plan because, you know, I, I think you're moving up the ladder to a B or a B plus in economics. Yeah, thanks Number a lot. One, you, I got a bad domestic... grade last week. <laughs> yeah. I'm, no, I'm picking it up here. I'm absolutely picking it up. Look, a domestic spending freeze, cut tax rates for supply-side economic growth, open up the spigots for drilling of oil and gas and pipelines, and deregulate Fracking. business, dere yeah, you can frack, deregulate all of business, stop these price controls, and then protect king dollar. The Fed is going to have to raise interest rates and take some cash out of the economy. Now, that would be an anti-inflation plan. But that's not what you saw in the paper today. What you saw in the paper today is no oil and gas production increases, more build back better for $5 trillion, tax wealthy people, successful earners and corporations, and regulate business left and right. So it's the exact opposite, okay? And that is the problem, and that's why this inflation is not going away. All right, so we'll beg OPEC, to, and they'll reject us again. They'll do a bad deal with Iran. That's really dumb, making the mullahs rich again. Uh, do business with the murdering dictator thug in Venezuela. But let me go to the part B of my question, which was for all yeah. for every American that has, you know, money in the stock market, a 401k, an IRA, whatever it happens to be, 
What do you say to them as they see their hard-earned retirement money um, dwindling by the hour? Well, look it. I believe in stocks for the long run. Uh, this woke big government socialism from Joe Biden that's damaging the real value of stocks is going to go away. It's not going to last. The cavalry's coming. The Congress is going to change in 2022, this November, and so will the White House in 24. Look at Sean. Do, my advice is, folks, don't sell. I actually think the stock market has more downside, okay? We have not seen the bottom, but I would still say don't sell. Buy as the market goes down. Stocks for the long run is the best way to do it. And finally, if you have some cash, buy the Treasury savings bonds. They're called I-bonds. They're indexed for inflation. The yield is about 10%. So try a savings bond and stay in the market. Do not outtime the market. Stocks in the long run. The cavalry is coming. These crazy woke policies are not going to last the test of time. Larry, the, the cavalry will start in 2023, assuming the Republicans take over the House and Senate. But you need the House, the Senate, and the White House to really get the job done. So this is going to be, yes. this is going to be a lot longer than people wish. I know for sure. All right, Larry Kudlow, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.